Hello and welcome to the show. Now, in today's hill climb monster, we are not going to necessarily be using this Red 05. You see, I'm going to be doing a lucky dip. We're going to head to the auction house. The 21st car on the auction house is going to be the vehicle that I turn into a hill climb car could possibly, unlikely, but it could possibly be a Rano 5. Who knows what we might end up with. These are good fun to do. I'm probably going to end up driving something I've not driven before or not done a huge amount with. Now, the rules for this, because they have got to be a couple, uh, I'm not going to be buying Horizon Edition cars because they are ridiculously expensive. I'm not going to be buying vehicles that I have used before, and I am not going to be buying cars, of course, that don't fit in with the PI, whether that be a hypercar that starts off in S2 class or a vehicle right at the very top of S1 that won't get all-wheel drive and uh, snow tires etc so we will jump over to the auction house we will go for a search now begins the counting part of this video because i can't possibly keep track without counting um right we have got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen and twenty right that is the 20th car, a McLaren 650S. Now, the next car, I will buy out the auction, and that is the vehicle that we are going to use. Please be good. Please be good. I've closed my eyes. That's what we're using. Oh, bugger. Oh, bugger indeed. Why did that be a really pissing expensive transit as well? <laughs> the gods, the gods of Forza have spoken. And we are going to make a monster transit. This is not going to end well at all, in fact. But never mind. We're going to spend 192000 on a transit as well. I am so glad it wasn't an Alfa Romeo 33. Because, well, I've only got 8 million. Um, well, I don't have any more. Right, let's go and collect our horrendously blue transit. It, it's like the offensive blue that our crew on GTA 5 has <laughs> and that you will often see Reese driving in. It's, it's an impressive blue on our transit. I am imagining, if this transit here, uh, can we have a look, I don't know if we can look at statistics on it, uh, now that I've gone and bought it. Uh, yes we can, okay, so we've got a thousand horsepower in this transit, and it is rear wheel drive. Uh, so, there is some hope that we're going to get crazy, crazy power. Now, handling wise, is anyone's bloody guess, really. Uh, we want to go my cars, I think, and then we will find it, because I think we've already collected it. Somewhere under here, we will find Ford, and we will find our absurd... <laughs> Our absurd car. I am going to die. I don't even know I had a transit. I probably won it in something. Okay, into the transit. How on earth am I going to do this thumbnail image? I've just thought of a problem. How on earth do you blur out a transit and make it not look like a transit? Um. Well, now, now I'm saying this, you guys are already going to know how, how I've done it. And, and, and uh, that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a problem for another day, I think. Let's go <laughs> and remove the setup on this car. Oh, bloody hell. Right, conversions, let's start off with that. Yes, we want an all-wheel drive. We want an all-wheel drive transit. What engines can we get? Yes, we'll get a 2-litre turbo in it. 3.2-litre i6. Ooh, 5.8-litre V8 double supercharged. That is probably what we're going to end up going for. I think the i6 is a pretty weak engine in this game now. So we will probably end up going for the Shelby GT500 engine, I believe. Uh, we will come back to that, however. We are going to want the full Forza Aero. I'm not sure it's going to quite get to the top of S1 class. We will wait and see. As you saw, the rear-wheel drive one actually got pretty close, so there is hope, potentially, for the transit. Although I don't know what tyres it was on, etc. In fact, I imagine yeah, it was on race tyres, but uh, there we go. We're going to have some nice snow tyres. We should have big tyres on it. That is a bonus. Two nine fives at the front, and we're going to have three two fives at the rear. They are big tyres, but it is a big car. There's a lot of transits to move around corners. We will go and stick all of these parts on. Um, when a vehicle like this, handling... Handling is going to be paramount because we are going to get a lot of power. Like, I know... Oh, my, my capture's gone and died. Xbox, if we could thank you. Even my Xbox is nervous about the possibility of me taking a transit up a hill climb course. That is, um... Reassuring. Sure, we'll go, we'll go with reassuring. Bloody hell. Uh, let's get all of these bits and pieces in. Let's get a roll cage in. Now, let's get as much weight out as we can, please. Thank you. Uh, I love how this is almost A-class with the standard engine in the bloody thing. That's quite impressive going. Okay, engine time. There's not really an option in this one. We're going for the double supercharged. 
I think I can actually put turbos on it if I wanted to. Uh, they are slightly heavier, but I think I might get more. Okay, let's let's if we have that there, let's go and see. I would like to keep it supercharged if we can. Uh, positive display supercharger. We can get. See, okay, so we actually get a lot more power out of the turbos. We'll kind of build up the rest of the engine and see what we what we have PI wise left over. I'm actually surprised that the Transit has as much PI as this. I have built up a few SUVs. Uh, I built up a uh, Ford Raptor for they never actually got it never ended up getting used the video never came out i built up a ford uh, raptor the new raptor for the old uh, rally car build series and that couldn't get past i think it's about 870 pi with a fully like with over a thousand horsepower i think it's probably the same engine as this to be honest and yeah that couldn't get over over about 870 pi so i am surprised to see the transit as high as this we will sadly have to use the turbo charges Oh, I say, I say sadly, nothing wrong with using turbochargers, however, I would have liked to keep the superchargers. Uh, da, 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 over here, at least I'm assuming that's what DSC means, I might be wrong and I apologise if I am, people will probably be angry and shouting by now. 1,041 horsepower. 1,041 horsepower transit. We are going to die, I think, is the... Uh, it, yeah... I'm yeah. I'm impressed with the amount of PI we've got. I think that is everything on the car that I possibly can put on. Uh, I was putting this stuff on when I think my TV crashed. Uh, actually, it was more the capture box went bizarre. I don't know why it does it. It's only started doing it recently. It's a weird glitch it goes through. Anyway, that is our transit ready to go. In the brightest of blues, we are going to tackle Blizzard Mountain. And hopefully not roll over. So the transit is to be raced up the Devil's Corners hill climb. It is going to get three attempts through this course in an attempt to go faster than a Lancia Delta S4. 159.1 is the time to beat. Now, interestingly, the transit and Delta have about the same power to weight ratio. The Transit has a thousand horsepower, the Delta had around 500, uh, but the Transit does weigh 4,000 pounds, the Delta weighed about 2,000. So, <laughs> yeah, power to weight wise, they're about even, so acceleration should be quite, com or potentially could be quite comparable. It's, well, kind of whether the, the, the Transit can get through a corner which, let's face it, it's a giant £4,000 transit. I am thinking probably not. Although it hasn't been too awful so far. Um, there is a fair bit of understeer going on, much like we got from the Lotus. The front end is kind of doing its own thing, um, and, and that, uh, that own thing is not turning into a corner how I want it to. But never mind. Oh, we're going exploring a little bit. Please turn in transit, thank you. Uh, don't go and visit the rocks. Don't go and visit the rocks at all. It's about 115, 116 we got up to with the Delta. It is quicker. In fact, I can be later on the brakes into there. It is quicker. So the Transit will go faster than the Delta in a straight line. Not that we have very much in the way of straight lines around this course. Oh, that's a big jump. That is a big jump for a very, very heavy van. Come on, around the next corner. This is where we're going to be losing time. And there's nothing I can really do about it through the corners. Uh, there was a couple of instances of me breaking a little bit too soon, but aside from that, yeah, I am pushing the transit as much as I dare. Visibility isn't great in the Ford. We're going a little bit exploring <laughs> over there. Uh-oh, uh-oh, okay, we're fine. Now, we've got it back under control. Right, let's avoid the ice patch down there. There's definitely something on the outside, and I'm not sure if it is an ice patch or quite what it is that I'm clipping on the outside. Uh, every time I think it's in a different place than it actually is, and I get dragged slightly wide across the first part of that section. Slow the beast down for our final quarter. This is where it is really going to hurt. The transit is really going to struggle around these slower turns. It's not a bad opening gambit, though, for a van 202, was it 2024? Yeah, that's not a bad opening run, and that isn't that far off the Lotus Exige. What a weird collection of cars we have had go first in this new series. So it is on to the second run with our transit. Can we find three seconds? I definitely think there was some time in that last run. I think we might be able to go quicker than the Exige, and that is a weird, weird thing to say. I do think it is possible for the... The snowy tarmac to start this course with is so nice compared to what happens later on. You get spoiled by the first couple of quarters, and then <laughs> and then it's just understeer 
from uh, from here on out. Come on, Transit, get around there, get around there. There we go, now we can get on the power. We can end up sliding out a little bit wide. We're still struggling for that, uh, that front end grip. Nothing so far has even got remotely close to the Lancia in terms of front end grip, but then the Transit does have a thousand horsepower and does have the acceleration on the other cars that have gone. We're gonna <laughs> We're just going to take the signs with us, okay? I hope you don't mind. We'll just we'll just carry them with us in our transit. Uh, I think I might have... Oh, no, I got the braking a little bit better there, although, yeah, the, the turning isn't isn't quite good enough, although, once more, we can get on the power quite early through that corner, and it's a lot of speed across that, uh, that jump. Let's try and not run wide through the more technical section. This is the problem. We can deal with the opening part where there's a lot of acceleration zones. Uh, because we have, we simply have the power to get away with it. Once we go into these more technical sections, I think this is where the transit is going to struggle. The sort of switchback corners and the just a brutal acceleration off the line give it some speed. But once we get up here, we're in a little bit of trouble. Is there actually ice on the outside? I don't think there is, you know. I'm not... There's something keeps catching the car. I think it might just be the banking of the road, or, or certainly there is something on the outside that likes to drag me wide. 102 miles an hour across the jump. Just leap through the air for the transit. I'm trying to be as neat and tidy through the first part as I can. Straighten it up for the second so we can run towards the line with all the blinding acceleration. It's into the 59s. It's gone under two minutes up the course of 59.8. From the four, that is a quick time. <laughs> that is quicker than I was expecting on a course like this. 59.8. Oh, seven tenths of a second is needed to beat a Delta S4. That is not what I expected to be saying this morning. Well, it turns out as far as monstrous hill climb vehicles go, and I shall say vehicles, uh, in, in this series, the Transit is already proving to be quite a surprise and really not that bad, at least when you put a thousand horsepower V8 in it, it is quite capable at getting up a snowy mountain. When I picked this circuit for this series, I did so knowing that this is perhaps one of the most technical circuits on Horizon 3 full stop. This is an incredibly, incredibly technical, very, very low speed, low speed circuit. We get 120 miles an hour twice-ish. It's not, I don't even think we have hit 120 quite, well, very close with this, but uh, you're doing 30, 40 mile an hour hairpins most of the time, and I really thought these crazy powerful vehicles, you know, the SUVs, we saw the Ford Woody went so very quick at the Reservoir Trail, I really thought they might struggle on a course such as this one, where it is almost all corners. However, the Transit is proving that that is not going to be the case at all. The Transit is incredibly competitive. Now, having a thousand horsepower will certainly help you when it comes to uh, climbing up a hill. It's just got the brute force to accelerate all of this mass forwards up, well, up this rather, rather steep hill. I thought it would come undone trying to carry any sort of corner speed, but I'm thinking just the brute force here is outweighing any of those, uh, those negatives at the moment. Don't run wide, don't clonk a tree. We've already visited that part of the course a little bit too often. Come on, Transit. Use that brutal acceleration. Dodge some ice patches. We didn't actually get dragged off the uh, course that time around, which is nice. Now, you see, we're actually maintaining really good corner speed. For a van, we're carrying really good corner speed through there. Again, it's 100 miles an hour across the jump to get the car stopped. Get the transit turned in through this final section. It's going to be the run towards the line. I think it's going to be very, very close. Oh, I don't quite know what that time was. It was quick, though, from the fall. <laughs> oh, that was close indeed. That was mega close. A 159.3 from our van. There is a very, very, very relieved Lancia somewhere. Uh, because <laughs> that is two tenths of a second, not even two tenths of a second down on the Delta S4. I thought we were going to die on this course with the Transit. It turns out, it turns out it is a really, really quick vehicle. That's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. Just the brute force of the Transit was able to propel it up the side of the mountain to go second on our table. It beats the Lotus Exige, and it's not very often that you get to say a Transit beats a Lotus, especially not around a twisty, turny, 
nasty hill climb circuit. But there we go. Yeah, the understeer was awful in the van. However, the acceleration was very, very good, and its ability to claw its way up the mountain is, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty damn important. Out of all of those slow speed corners, it could just utilize its power. That's a ridiculous fast time. That is a ridiculous fast time indeed. So, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of glad the Lucky Dip gave me a weird and wonderful vehicle <laughs> in this our second episode of Hill Climb Monsters, and we really have lived up to, lived up to its name, I think. That, though, is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.